Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. I'm building it with my community, you guys, so we can just dress outside of the box. Okay, today's episode is something that I wanted to bring to you guys. I know you guys have been asking for it, so here it is. This is African Americans dating black Americans and it's a little tricky I don't know there's there's a fuss in between this all saying that there's you know for me personally before we get into this if you fall in love with somebody it doesn't matter what their ethnic background is their culture is what they eat what they wear it's all about the love and that's the part that's hard to keep people you know separated love brings you together so we're going to jump right into it, hear these conversations, leave your comments down below. I love you guys. We got a lot to go for this week, so let's just jump right in. Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. PSA for Caribbean and African women dating African American men, especially if you're a girl's girl. Do not let these faux passport bros that can't afford to go abroad play in your face. I remember dating a guy that was like, oh yeah, I tend to get along better with African and Caribbean women because y'all tend to be, you know, more traditional and things like that. Don't get me wrong, I do actually have pretty traditional values, but I still am a little modern leaning. But as a girl's girl, what I hear you saying is these other women require too much of me and I know you're going to cook and clean and you're gonna do all of these things and so I get to rest on my laurels and just go out into the world make some money and that's all that you need wrong just because we're traditional just because we're Caribbean doesn't mean that we do not expect you to show up for us emotionally spiritually or have expectations that you do more than just provide for our household traditional women in general are not a cop-out from you doing the work that it takes to keep a marriage healthy and happy for reference, I am Haitian and I am West African from Benin Republic. I'm also a Christian and to be honest, my Christian values is actually what causes me to be a little bit more traditional because I grew up with a single mom in a strong woman household. So I was actually taught not to define my worth by marriage or not to think of a man as a plant. So I have my own money but I also cook and clean. I say all of that to say, you will not use me to trample over my sisters. Thank you and have a great day. So. I know a lot of people are not gonna like when I say this, but it needs to be addressed. I'm sorry, you guys, it's early in the morning. But um, when you guys are going to Africa, getting these African men that do not have children, um, please make sure you know what you're doing. Because in the African culture, ch having children is a requirement. It's not even a decision that you have that you can make for your significant other or he can make for himself. Um, some African men who don't have children, they're eventually, if not now, later on down the line, they're going to want children. That's just what it is. Um, I see a lot of people and a lot of women, I hear a lot of women say, oh, it's not a requirement, we can adopt and whatever have you. And that's your prerogative if you wanna believe that. But um, you definitely have to have a plan in place if you are not able to bear children because having a child by an African man is a requirement. It's not something that you have a choice with, especially if he doesn't have children. Now, if he has kids, it's a different story. But if he does not have kids and he's of age to have children and you know that you cannot bear children, please have a plan in place um, to make sure that man has a child. Um, if not, and I see a lot of times that when African men do make it here to the United States of America, they then start seeking other um, options of um, or going other directions. Um, you know, because in, in life, we all want children. Okay, we all want children in life. So, um, to all my women out there who are in LDR relationships, um, it's a very sensitive subject about um, having children. So I won't, you know, really elaborate on the subject too much. But 
if you are a woman and you know you cannot have children, please know that having a child to an African man is a must. It's a requirement, especially if he does not have children. Now, if he does have children, then maybe, you know, you you could probably overlook it and get away with it. But if he does not have children, please don't be selfish and not want that man to have a child. Have a plan in place for when um, this topic comes up to when you get them in the United States of America. Because just because it's not an issue right now, I promise you it will be an issue moving forward in the future. So my ladies, my beautiful LDR ladies, just make sure you have a plan in place. When you were single, right? Did you see a difference between like American women and white women from back home? Yes, of course. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm not going to say I, I I do not love American women. Like I said before, I've never did a one. Mm. But I have gone a few days with, you know, like when I was single. You no, know, mm. I went on a few days, um, hang out with a few of them, you know. But it's a huge difference um, when, when it comes to a background. Most of the time, um, we we are used to our women not talking back to us. Really? Yeah. It's like, so American women talk to Let's discuss. This video is for American women and women who, who moved from a different country to America. How are you handling the dating scene? Because I just realized that American men do not talk to you in public like back in my country men would typically walk up to you and be like oh my god thank you so pretty let me get your number let me take you out let me get to know you blah 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 like sometimes it does get annoying but that's pretty much how we meet each other but out here it's different nobody talks to nobody american women if you're married like how and where did you meet your husband because i feel like this is something our parents do not put into consideration when moving over here because they are already married uh, most of the time and now the problem is on us especially women because how are we going to meet our husband if nobody talks to nobody and obviously i'm not ugly so it's like what's going on please help me let's talk in the car the black men here interesting so you have two types of blacks you have the african blacks and then you have the american blacks who are in the military and here on base okay a lot of military men are here a lot a lot a lot okay so let's talk about the military men all right they are interesting um they you can tell that they are definitely on here talking to the filipino women looking for the others okay but when you do see some of them that connect with you they are like ugly no offense like a lot of them are like not attractive to me like they look weird you know like personally you know um it's very rare and all of them, what's up with the earring thing? Are people still wearing earrings? I, I really don't like men that wear earrings. I, just, I never liked that trend at all. You know what I mean? Um, but a lot of them have earrings. A lot of them have these like wild looking like tribal tattoos still. Like it's like the typical military bullshit. You know what I mean? Like I'm just looking for like a normal, a normal black dude with a cute smile, with a nice low cut. Then you got some that got like these kitchen braids. And I'm like, what are y'all doing? You know, like, I'm just looking for, like, a nice, clean-looking black dude. Not, you don't even have to look like the collegiate type of dude. Like, there's types, different types of black men. They're, like, the kind that I went to college with. I went to Howard. So, like, we have, the, like, the proper bougie black men, right? I don't even need that either. But I'm looking for someone who just looks like they, like, take care of themselves and take pride in how they look. You know what I mean? Um, and who is attractive? Because I'm be honest with you. If I'm back out here in the dating scene... I'm a little shallow with it. I want to see somebody who's like fit, you know, who wants to go to the gym because I'm getting back fit. Like I've lost weight since I've been here. I'm going to continue to lose weight. I'm working out more. Like I want to get back to me. So if I get with somebody who doesn't care about how they look and their fitness and their physique, they're going to make me fat. Come on, I'm trying to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? So babe, let's go on a date to the gym. You know what I'm saying? That's all jogging. You know what I'm saying? So that's that now. I will say this though, a lot of the black men have good jobs here and are doing things. Um, so if you see a black man in Qatar, they might be an engineer, they might be on the base, they might be, you know, just doing something worthwhile. The African dudes, it's different. They are the more attractive ones to me. I see like a lot of good looking ones, but because Qatar um, is really hard on foreigners, especially African men, um, and they don't give them really good jobs here no matter how educated they are. There's, I told you there's like a caste system here. 
a lot of the African men are struggling here. Okay, they're they're making basically they're making ends meet. Like you know that they're getting paid half or less than even half of what you're making. So you kind of feel bad to date them because it's like I know the lifestyle that I have here. I'm gonna be going to brunches, dinners, whatever with my friends. I don't want you spending the majority of your money on me, you know? And at the same time, I don't want it to be like a project. Like, oh, I gotta try to bring you up with me or try to help you to be to have a better, like, life here. Like, no, I'm not looking for that either. Like, I'm sorry to tell you this, like, I'm trying to find a man right now that already knows who he is, already has good opportunities, is making decent money, he has his own place, I have my own place. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? That's what gets me going. So, um, think what you want. But I was just in a two year relationship where this situation was a little bit different. And it's like, I know I'm just dating right now. I'm just looking for a friendship. So I don't know if it's going to be something serious. But if it is going to be something serious, I want to make sure that you are a good prospect. You know? And I'm not saying that the African men here do not have um, opportunity to be more than what the eye meets. But it's just like, right now, right now, I want to have some fun, and I want to do things, and I want to travel, and I want to go to other countries while I'm in Qatar. Will they be able to do this with me, or will they resent me for it? So, I just don't want to go down that path, okay? Come here, I want to ask you a question. So, since they're answer only, what's it like dating a black American queen? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it feels different though. It feels different and depending on who you are dating, mm -hmm. that is not from the culture, it can be a learning moment. Mm -hmm. It can be a, a, a learning experience that you have to get beyond what you know and to what you don't know and just learn what other people are doing. That's different. That's beautiful culture difference yeah there's a cultural difference there's how I think things should be things should be viewed but you you do it a different way I'm like okay that's cool especially it's fun though in fact when you get when you transfer from getting married from dating to marriage that is a total big that's big that's it's true because we're in marriage now. it's different than fun just put it that way it's different than fun I don't know what anybody said depending on the person it's different and it's fun depending on who you are dating get married to just this one's fun that I want to make a right choice see I'm glad his answer was that because if it wasn't <laughs> so I've been seeing this topic pop up more and more lately and I can admit I have seen African American women express loudly and openly that they don't really desire to be with an American man, they more so desire to be with African men. And based off of what I see, the main reason from what I see that most African American women want an African man is solely based off of the fact that they say things like, you know, African men don't go 50 50. You know, African men, they take care of their women. Um, they don't believe in their woman like working, they shower women with riches and things of that nature. And I'm like, okay, what else is it that you like about African men? Like, do you, is there anything else you like about them? Or do you only like them because you feel like you're going to, you know, be taken care of financially? And um, I know many women I know African, and I'm not gonna lie, their culture is a little different than ours, you know. In African culture, you know, they have multiple wives. You know, African men tend to have many women. And when I look into that, I'm like, the African American women who say these things, are they aware of that? But I don't think they care. I think it's solely based off of the fact that they just want an easier life. Who doesn't want an easier life? not saying there's anything wrong with it but it's like does love come into the picture or is it just you want to just live this life of abundance and financial freedom and to my african men be careful because these african american women are preying on you all but they're preying on your resources 
I never really hear a African a woman, African American woman say how they love them for this, this, and that. It's just all about finances and material things. And as far as myself being an African American man, it does make you feel some type of way. The same way, you know, African American women be like, oh, these guys only like light skinned women, da 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 da. That's kind of how it makes us feel. Like, you don't want us because you feel like we're worthless and we don't have as much money, which that's not really true. It's wild. It's honestly like the hot topic now. Most African American women don't want an American man. They don't. Yeah, so it honestly makes us feel the same way. You know, those color struck men that these, you know, African-American women talk about, we feel the same way as African-American men. And hearing women express how American men are cheap, broke, um, they don't have the same work ethic as African men. And to me, it's just starting to create such a divide. And you do tend to see... um, African-American men, I have to say that because, you know, I don't want TikTok to think that I'm going into some crazy debate. But anyways, um, yeah, you see more of us tending to go to other races now because it just seems like we're not wanted anymore. We're worthless unless we have money. If you don't have money, finances, you're nothing. And the thing is, even the average income, women don't respect African American women don't respect most of them don't you have to either be super real wealthy rich average income's not going to cut it they're going to think that you're a weak man so that's why they tend to go to African men they feel like they have it all they have the big house the nice cars businesses and what they fail to realize is yes some of them may have those things but these are hardworking men. They're gonna get it by any means necessary. African American women aren't don't seem to care about that. As long as they are showered in gifts and riches, they don't really care how these men get it, as long as they're getting a piece of the pie. And um that's not love. You're just using somebody, honestly. I just understand, you know, <clears throat> what's going on out here. It's not love at all. None of it's love, it's survival. You want security. There's nothing wrong with wanting security, but you really have to love a person's spirit. You can't just be wanting a person strictly off of their resources. And I seen another lady today post something about, please send me my African uh, king, because there was an article posted how, you know, Nigerian men, there's no 50-50. And that seems to be an obsession. Women just simply don't want to do anything. They just want to sit at home, I guess, and not do much and just have a man um, do everything for them. And it's just so odd because you hear stories of these American, African-American women saying how like they, they've dated African men and it ended in disaster. It was, they were controlling, um, they had so many different women. Yeah, the riches were there, but the, it also came with a lot of other things. I'm not saying all African men are like this, but based off of the things I've been paying attention to for years, I'm hearing the same story over and over and over again. There's nothing wrong with African men, but make sure you love that man. Don't just want him because you feel like he has a lot of money. You have to actually love him, understand him, know who he is inside and out. You know what I'm saying? That's how y'all get hurt. Y'all just strictly wanting to be with men because of their financial situation. That's going to get you messed up in the long run it's more than just money you have to love a person you have to understand a person you know okay what i could say is when it comes to love it doesn't matter if you're black american black african american black african alien american alien it doesn't matter once you fall in love it's going to be something that you cherish and you don't have to worry about their ethnic group. You love that person for that person. And you grow and learn things together that you never knew. That's what makes a relationship so special. Not just knowing or agreeing on everything, but the stuff that you don't disagree on and you come to conclusions with, that makes a stronger relationship. You guys let me know down in the comments how you feel on this particular topic this conversation and we can continue this conversation on my morning show mondays wednesdays and fridays 9 a.m right here on youtube live stream 
So until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now.